Mm. Well, hello, Coffee Time friends. How are you? This is Coffee Time, but first coffee. All right, folks. Mama is working up a storm. And she's doing one of my favorites. Now, I don't even call this the right thing. Um, Mama, what do you call this? This is squash relish. This is squash relish to Mama. To me, I call it chow chow. And she knows what I'm talking about every time I say it. Because that's what it is to me, Mama, is chow chow. Well, it's really squash pickles. Squash I didn't know you had it on me. <laughs> I <I'm> just <talking. laughs> What if I was doing something I shouldn't well, do? Mama, you don't never do nothing you shouldn't do. Everything you do is picky and perfect, as I say. Do you want me to cut some for you if I got any chores to do? Well, you can. You can peel those onions right there. I've yes, ma'am. Uh, peel me about, well, how many is in there? I need about eight. Eight onions peeled. Uh, eight whole onions? Well, I'm going to make two batches. That's a lot of onions. Not for two batches. Mama, can you see yourself in there? Yeah, oh well, yeah, I don't need to see myself. This is really a recipe for sliced squash pickles, but Johnny likes it in a chunks to eat with his pinto beans. Hence chow chow. Hence chow chow, as he calls it. So what I'm doing, just chunking it up. Uh, right here, I've done a few of the peppers already in chunky like stuff. That's for, uh, it calls for eight cups of squash and a, a cup of green peppers and four onions. So that's what I'm gonna fix and it Excuse me, you cut it in rings to make the pickles, and I cut it in chunks to make the chow chow. I mean, really, here I'm calling it chow chow. The chow chow. Once you chop it all up and put it in there like that, it's chow chow. I think. I know it seems that way to me. bigger squash for the pickles because I make them in little rings. I like the little ones that. This is what I could get, so it's fine for... Our squash died. And so, uh, our cousin brought some to us. And then a good neighbor, and he's a family member too, John, and nowhere brought some to us. Mama, your little papers, onions is leaving. Uh, our cousin Randy brought some, and then... So, that's what you do in the South. If somebody loses a crop or loses something, well, they'll, somebody will bring you some. Uh, pitch in and help. Pitch in and help. Because you never know next year. Somebody might need something and we can take them something. So, I love that about people. Everybody just works together and does things. I'm having trouble with the paper, so that I Here, put it in my garbage bags here. And on these pickles, you cut them up, and it, like I said, you take eight cups of squash and uh, a cup of, it says green pepper, but I happen to have uh, orange in the garden and green, and then he had this little bag of smaller, different colors, so There's I... Little peppers here. I added a few of them. Mini peppers, mini, well, that's just, mini peppers, and they're sweet. I added a few of them with my green. Uh, and that's all I'm going to do. You cut these, chop them up, and you put them in a bowl, and you put a tablespoon of salt over them, and you just keep working them after you get them chopped fine. You will just keep working that salt in there, and you let that salt stay on there for one hour. And then you make your vinegar and pickle uh, spices. Mix them and cook that in your sugar, and then you uh, add your pepper and squash, and then you mix your back to the vinegar after it comes to a boil, and let it boil up again, a good boil you can't roll down, and then you just jar it up and seal it with your lids, and that's it. Just you can't roll down. You, huh? you can't stir it down. You know. You said roll down. Oh, I mean. <laughs> 
my tongue was working. You can't roll was, it down. You can't stir it down. It, it that's kind of rolling, rolling boil. boil. That's what was on my mind, a rolling boil, and it come out rolling stir. <laughs> yeah, you can't roll it down. These are uh, yellow onions. Um, They're just a regular. Just a regular yellow onion. And you want that because it does change the taste. You don't want a sweet onion. A five day onion. You and you can see my peppers is all different colors in here, and I just got that off the thing. And I'm going to put it on and try to give it a few light pulls. As you have noticing, I'm not letting Johnny do the pulling because he gets full head. Not that that's bad, but it's bad if you don't want <laughs> Mommy's Mama is trying to say she's picky. Well, you don't. She didn't want me to do the pulling. You don't want everything fine rice. You want to. I'll tell you one thing. We've made this before without the chopper. Oh, yes. And it takes a long time to chop all that up. So, grateful to have. Very grateful to have. The power shift today. It just makes it a, a lot easier. You can see. And if you don't have that, you can use the, the choppers, the hand choppers. There's other things out there if you don't have that. But that just works out. And I think that's really pretty, don't you, Johnny? It's beautiful. All the different colors. And, and that'll be, you know how to be prettiest? With a bowl of beans. A bowl of beans. <laughs> yeah. Mama, does this mean we're having beans this week? I mean, we've just got all the, all, it's the perfect storm. We've got the ham bone from lunch. We're making chow chow. How could that not be a perfect Just being an omen to have. Exactly. Now, Mama, here is five onions this size right here. Is that all you know? Tell me one more. It calls for four for each batch. We'll at least have three for each batch. Oh, I can do all these if you want them done. I just was wondering. This is a lot of onions. A lot of onions. Well, it takes onions to flavor it. Oh, I love it. I love the onions in it. Whatever's in it, I like. I believe that's two good cups, if not more, don't you? <laughs> I can measure it up for you. You want it measured up? Yeah, I'll have to the cup for you. You know what I think got done? Something. You ain't got that in there for one. I could see it. I have got it in there. No, you didn't have the you didn't have the top on. Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't have it down for it. No, it went. I'm bad sometimes, but I'm sure I got it on the pedestal. That squash is soft, so it's cut loose. Look at it. They can't see a thing you're doing there, Mama. I keep it going around the table, Mama. I know, you're a hard cat to skin. Well, it is raining all of a sudden, just like falling. Like it's supposed to for like, all this. Like pouring out of the bucket. For all these cloudy days we've had. It's been threatening to rain and storm here for two days, and we've had thunder and we've had lightning, but we ain't had any moisture. And I'm so glad to see the moisture, because that means... That's the hour of my night that I won't have to be out watering flowers. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> poor baby. Mama, you know it's the truth. Mm -hmm. It takes a good hour to water. Water flowers. Uh, I don't want the bottle of that so mushy. That ain't mushy. No, but some of it's getting that way and some of it's not. You may have to do batches, small batches. Of I'm going to have to do it smaller than that, but... It still go quicker than hand chop. Oh. Mercy, this used to be a, a four-hour job. Mama, that leaves one little lonely onion in the back. Is that oh, what you that's want? good enough. Oh, no, here. All right, so here we go. Mama, you you have jumped out of the camera. I do that. I can't help it. I, I need a camera person so that we can chase you down. All right, I'm measuring out. Two heaping, these are my measurements. Yeah, I see that. Two heaping um, cups full. Not together. Huh? I gotta have 
One and one. One and one. There you go, Mama. You asked what you got. It. So there's a cup and a cup. Okay. And what are you going to do with the rest of this? Divide it between them? We might have to. I, I don't think I'm going to have enough to make three batches. Oh, how I wish you would. We just ran out. We just ran out last bean night. Last bean night. We uh, had we had Sorry. one jar left, and we had just enough for the last time we had beans. So you was happy at that? Huh? No, I wasn't happy to see them go. I'm happy to see them coming back. Now, are you going to put these in the chopper? Yes, sir. I sure am. So you want me to divide this up? Half and half, and fill the rest. Just add. let me wait. Let me get this. Let me it. let me see what you actually have in here, because I believe you might have enough for. I've got more peppers here, more green ones, and. You don't have a heaping. Now you only have a level. I can add these two to it, and I still have peppers left. Okay, so. Just please let's, it. Let's go for three if we can. You can start measuring this. I have to have eight. Cups, good cups to go in with that one cup. Of Eight squashes. Eight squashes. Yes, ma'am. Here we go. Eight squashes. I'll try to do better than that, Mama. You can get them heaping too, cause it. You have any. Have you got enough? Oh yeah. I know I've got enough. For Three. There's the thunder. Four. See if this is not too big. If it's too big, I'll redo it. Five. Is it all right? It's fine. Six. We're up to six in here, Mom. Okay, that sounds like a plan. Folks, this is just the way we cook and carry on. We just get in here and get at it. Mama tells me what to do, and that's what I do. I try to learn a little bit as I go. Now, if you find big cuts, please return them. Okay. <laughs> I did find one over here, but I wasn't. Huh. I wasn't going to bring up in the board meeting. I was just going to let it go. Well, thanks, too. Did I say six? Yes, sir. I was just testing you, Mama. I knew all along. Oh, sure. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> and that's seven. So I need about another half a cup or more. Look at that. How beautiful. If y'all had ever tasted this, you'd be so excited. It's like Thanksgiving dinner. Because oh. it is so good. It's wonderful. With that My dad would eat this on peanut butter sandwiches. Yeah. He would put chow chow on peanut butter sandwiches. And it's not horrible. It's, it's, it's not good either. I don't know, but he did. All right, Mama, I need, this will be the last. Ah, those are big. Well, pick through, <laughs> pick through. I can tell you those were some big ones. I've seen them falling. All right, some of these are just, they need one more little pull. You put them in here. I well, I try to shake them up, but if you yeah, have it. it's hard to it's hard to do. You think any moment just get perfect? Well, I don't want them too little, but I don't want them. You want them Goldilocks? You can put some big ones in there, I guess. You want them Goldilocks, don't you, Mama? Yeah. Just right. Now there's this one. That one's complete. Okay. And I think these could go through one more twist. I'll just put them in that bowl because I'm going to wash my onions and. Here, give it. me that, and I'll do these. Oh, that? Yeah, and that? 
I'm going to do my onions. No, what? I'm going to do this first. Oh. <laughs> You're going to get to see a, a cannon fight right here. <laughs> we don't have fights. We have disagreements and then we laugh about it. I don't mind too good sometimes. No, I was wanting to do You was wanting to do onions. I was and I was wanting to do this. I was wanting to make that match to me. See, you get too pull happy. <laughs> Jason, I don't want you to. And you weren't pull happy in that moment. So my pull happiness. There it is. Alright. Now that's just perfection. Alright. There you go, Mama. And I'll start your next batch. No, you won't. Cause I've got you. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm, I'm, this is one cup and this one. I'll Are you going to quit these? I'm, no, I'm going to finish this. A batch. Cup of pepper, eight cups of squash, and I'm just going to put three onions in. Three whole onions? You don't have to measure them? And that way it just said three onions. Okay, now we're cooking. So she's going to do three of these these onions I just... I mean four is what he said, but we cut it down to three. Are you going to do three or four? Three. Well, let's not cut it down, Mama. It's just perfect the way you do it. Well, you want me to... You, uh, you can do this and I'll be... Let me drop some up for you. Getting my peppers. The ones in the bowls, what goes? Have I got three in the bowl or just two? You just cut two. Well, I just cut one up, didn't I? Yeah, just to be three. Or you must have had four. <laughs> <laughs> what, ma'am? <laughs> <laughs> you got one, two, three. Yeah, and here's four for the next batch. So I need one more, and we will be putting four in each batch. Okay, get my chore board, and I'll... Uh, You'll hand it to me right across the counter there. Thank you, Mama. Here. Yes, ma'am. Goodness. I get confused, easy. <laughs> I love it, Mama. Okay, so this is the, well, this is the onion. And it's going to be four onions in here before we say we're done. So there's, this will be number two onion. So when you're talking onions, I guess I would call these a good medium onion. So four medium onions. That's what it says, four medium onions. It's hard sometimes to do measurements when you're talking about an onion. You know, because an onion can be different sizes. Well, <laughs> Johnny. <laughs> and that's the way you don't do it. Where? You said I didn't have mine on, right? No. Well, <laughs> um, it may be. No, I hit this um, Clear, uh, bowl over there. Yeah. And it went yonky. I don't know if it jerked them sideways or not. Okay. I'm not going to get too cut happy. That's good. Because I want the onions to taste in there. So how much do you want? Uh, it looks good. You get good. Oh, it. thank you, Mama. Okay. And so how... I need it right in here. Okay. So we're doing a whole batch there. So I'm going to go ahead and dump them in. I love... This is my favorite part of summer. Most favorite part of summer is the vegetables in the can and, and the whole process. And we always have fun doing it. Whether we're canning green beans or whether we're doing pickles of some kind. I guess these qualify as a pickle, don't they, Mama? Yeah, they're in the pickle family. I mean, we're doing a brine and you're doing everything right. And um, this is what it's all about. And then you have the beautiful fresh food all winter long. What we made of these last year, we just finished eating last week. Week four last, was it, Mom? Uh, week four last. Week four last. So it was, uh, 
that onion's got that little core done in it. Uh, so we've done right. We've it lasted from one year to the next, so we could have it the whole time, and that makes it nice. That makes it nice. I did try that um, chuck out on a peanut butter one time, and it wasn't horrible. Like I said, it. He said, no, I ain't that good. I said, it's okay. You don't like it? I said, yeah, I do. It, it's good. I didn't say that, though. I don't even think you tried it, Mom. I just couldn't. I just couldn't. <laughs> you just couldn't try it? Either. I think I may be over chocolate. I just done it one or two pulls. <laughs> I, I, I'm scared you. Just you gave me that look. You're that look of distrust. Now, Mama. That's a lot of onion, too. You know it. But that is what makes it so good, I believe. This is starting to look like it now. It'll get a yellower your color. What do you put in it makes it yellow, Mama? Turmeric? Uh, I don't know these. Yeah. The turmeric makes pickles yellow. Yeah. Alright, there it is. Yum. Put that right over there. And there's the thunder. Can y'all hear thunder? I don't know if I can get it cooked or not it's storming like this. This is one tablespoon uh, and it calls for a tablespoon of salt and all you do with this is just barely sprinkle it. That's a tablespoon of salt? Yeah that's what it calls for. This is my spoon. <laughs> and I'm going to stir a little bit and then pour some more. And like I said this sets for air. And I'm going to put the rest of my salt on here. So this is all they are, and we'll be waiting an hour to start on the other. So that's one whole batch? This is a batch, and it only makes just a few pints, three or four. Okay, Mama, tell us again what all you did, because we have been talking and Mike and Karen out here. So you started out with... A um, cup of pepper. A cup of chopped pepper. Yeah, it says green pepper, but we're going to use, we use different colors. Sweet. And see how pretty it will look when it you... It is beautiful. All the different So colors. one cup of peppers. Uh-huh. Four medium onions. Four medium onions chopped. Yeah. And then I put eight cups of it's chopped squash. up... Squash. Summer squash. Crooked neck. Crooked neck or straight straight neck, either one. It don't matter. Yeah. Squash. Squash, and you can use a little bigger squash with these. Yeah. So that worked out good. And this is one whole batch, this and that'll yield what? Maybe eight uh, pints? No, about three pints, three <gasps> to four pints. Oh, Mama, That's I thought we was I making up it. a whole. Well, you going Whoa. <laughs> oh, I thought we. <laughs> I thought we was doing it for the whole season. That didn't get me through like. November. <laughs> mm -mm. Mama, that's going to have to be, we're going to have to make more batches of this. It's like three. And then what salt did you put in there? A tablespoon of salt. A tablespoon of salt. Mm -hmm. And that's all. Yeah. And this sets an air, and you, every once in a while you can give it a stir to make sure. So that, that salt will pull out the juices. Mm-hmm. And it'll mix the flavors and stuff. Uh -huh. And then the next is to read the other side of that top one up there. And the other side. Sweet pickle. Squash pickles. Uh, seed mixture is three fourths tablespoons mustard seeds, three fourths teaspoon three fourths teaspoons of mustard seeds, three fourths teaspoons celery seeds, two and one fourth cups sugar. 
and one and a half cups of white vinegar. Okay, folks, if you have the church cookbook. That's an old one. I don't oh. know if it's in the new one or not. Yet. Oh, this is our first cookbook. Mm -hmm. That's in memory of my oldest sister. Oh, okay, yeah, Miss Eleanor Davis. Bell. This was our first church cookbook, and this was published. Oh, so this, we've gone way back. Mm -hmm. This was published back in, we don't have any more copies of these. No, they're all uh, 2013. Uh, so this was the first one we've done, Lord of the Harvest, also a Missionary Baptist Church. But it's in here, and I will hear it since y'all don't have it. This may be backwards, upside down, or something. Y'all can do a snapshot of that. There it is. Uh, do a screenshot, and then you can just have to filter it out backwards. But it may it may show up frontwards. Uh, but that's the top one. There is the squash pickles, and below there is sweet pickle sticks. So, and that's from Miss Rosa Cummins. That. Uh, that's a good recipe too. Oh, oh, the I said oh. I don't know. Did you see the electric you, display? You've got to peel one more onion. Well, this one's a big one. Mama, I've done four. Oh, for the next batch. Yeah, but this one's a big one, so it may be. Go ahead and get that small one. We'll do it. We're going to let that sit for an hour. And we'll be right back. Well, we ended up with four batches. Not bad. Here's three of them. One, two, three. That's what it looks like. And these are in timeout. It's got their style in them. They have to sit here for an hour. Mama's got one of her on the stove. She's got her vinegar, her celery seed, and something and something. And she's going to start putting those in there in a minute and get it good and hot and get it to a good roll and boil. So, it has only taken us about 45 minutes to do three batches. Um, the pear chef saved a lot of time on that little job because we usually, we do two batches and it takes about two hours for three. Oh, so we have saved time. But these are in timeout. I want you to see how beautiful they are. Mm -mm. and there they are and that is going to be squash pickles or as I call it squash chow chow mama how close are we to contact with the burner we, I am getting ready as soon as I find my celery seeds here she's going to look for some celery seeds and then we'll be ready you'll have to come and look for celery seeds yes ma'am I'm on the job Y'all, hold on just two seconds. I'm going to get these celery seeds, and then we're going over, and we're going to get that stove going. Y'all, hold on. I had to get over here and catch her. She's trying to start without us again. Mama, you got to wait for the crowd. Okay, let me wait for the crowd. I'm going to leave you again and go see what I have What here. You put what in here? One and a half cups of white vinegar. One and a half cups of white vinegar is what she has in here so far. So, this is just plain old white vinegar. This is for Walmart. We buy vinegar by the gallons like most people do water. Because we do a lot of canning and we do a lot of cleaning with vinegar. And I always... Mama, do you put it in your white clothes? Um, most of the time. We put... If you uh, take the book and read on the seed side. Seed side. Uh, we put a, I put about a cup in my white clothes. Okay, well, in dark clothes too. They don't take color out. Seed mixture, three-fourths teaspoons of mustard seed, and that is celery seed. Three-fourths <laughs> teaspoons of celery seed. And I'm not, <laughs> excuse me. Two and one-fourths cups of sugar, and one and a half cups of white vinegar, which you already put in there before we even got here. And that's your mustard seeds. Yeah, mustard and celery is in there. And, my and now I need two and a fourth cups of sugar. 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 Sugar, sugar. Now this is your brine. My what? The brine for your pickling. Oh. I didn't think that's what you, I don't know what you said. That's going to post in the stove. How much sugar? Two and a fourth. Two and a fourth. There's one. Two and a fourth. Two and a fourth. And there's two. 
there's two. And there's a fourth. This is the sweet one. And it says he was supposed to have been holding it. I done read it. It says mix the squash mix and let it sit for one hour. Bring the seed mixture to a rapid boil. That's that young boy you couldn't read that. That's <laughs> what <laughs> I said earlier. Then put the squash mixture in the boiler mixture. Bring to a rapid boil at the end. It makes four pints. Four little pints for all that chopping. Over there is where it's set for an hour and it's coming down. It, you can tell how it looks different. So, so we put the tablespoon of salt in there. That has to come to a rapid boil. Yes, ma'am. She thought I was going to pour that in there. She's catching yeah. me. All right. So this, you can see here how this, all that water that's come out of the squash and the peppers and that salt brought that out so that's what you're going to be looking for that's what you're waiting an hour for is to let that emulsify and do its thing and it smells different uh, now there's sugar in here so you're going to have to stir a minute you hear that that's the sound of the vinegar getting hot Woo! That'll clear out your sinuses. Bowl and vinegar. This is not water. Watch that camera, Mama. We'll pickle that camera and then we'll all be a mess. Oh, no. I'll be a fine. Okay, I'll be a now, this is not... This is hot. You can tell it's getting hot. But it's not to a rolling bowl yet. A rolling bowl is when you can't... When it's boiling and you can't make it stop by stirring. So it is boiling. I love this is one of those smells that a lot of people don't like, but I do. And I love green cooking and I love I love the, the smell of pickling. Does anybody else like greens, collard greens, mustard greens, cooking? How about pickles? Now that's a rolling, rolling boy. You can't see, it. can't see it, but it is. Here's vinegar in your eye. Now we have to let it come to a rolling boil again. And try not to scrape. Get all that out. So this is squash and peppers and onions in the vinegar. <clears throat> Woo, it's strong. <laughs> so in this pot right now we have got eight cups of yellow crooked neck squash one cup of bell peppers or the little sweet colorful peppers four medium yellow onions we have got a cup and a half of white vinegar We've got three-fourths teaspoon of mustard seed, three-fourths teaspoon of celery seed. What else you got in here, Mom? Two and a half. Two and a fourth cups of sugar. Two and a fourth cups of sugar. And that's the whole party. <clears throat> and you got a whole pot of deliciousness. That is for sure. This is so good with soup beans or, well, just any kind of bean, really. White beans. Now, this only has to get to a rapid boil. So, we're going to let it. Boil just a few seconds, a few minutes after it comes to that rapid boil. 
so that way it's, I know those bigger pieces you thought you didn't want. Okay. So you heard Mama. So when this is churning, we'll be back and put them in the jars. Okay, here's that rolling boil we were talking about. It's been doing that about two or three minutes. Now it foamed up, as you can see there, and I turned it off. So it foamed. If, if you don't stir, it'll foam up. But I can't stir the, roll, the boil down. When I stir, it just keeps boiling. And it... Uh, it foamed up so you'll know so you can see there how it's working in there I think you can still see it and that's with the stove completely off and mama's gonna dip her up now mama are you ready to dip I'm gonna get started if I can at all here get all this out of my way here get some hot holders to set that hot jars on for the first time So it boils about three minutes. I'll put that in there and let that get good and warm. I gotta get a pink tail. I gotta get my mind to function. Get your mind to function? Yeah. It's hard to do sometimes when you get old. Okay, Mama, let me take the camera and come right over here. And we can you're see more. You're afraid of me, aren't you? Well, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> we can see more of what you're doing. Okay, so all I'm gonna do, I'll let my spoon get good and hot or dipper. And that's just a um, jar funnel. And you're putting a little juice in each one? Yeah. What kind of head space you leave on these? I'll just put up towards the, the rims down here where the rims start. Where the rings start? Mm -hmm. Wipe off your top. Ooh. Get burnt. Don't get burnt, Mama. Yeah. Get your magic wand. Get your, this is your flat or your lid. When people talk about cannon lids, they're talking about this. That looks like two, honey. You got two going on. No, it's just one. You do? Okay. Ain't that just one? I think, maybe. It looks like two. Lids are too precious to waste one this year. Ooh, we can't find them. Find them. <laughs> What's that mean, Mama? I'd whistle if I could. <laughs> I believe I've got two. Can't tell. And there it is, folks. That's the whole process. Now I believe there's two stuff there, though. Yeah. Oh, come out. That's the whole process. Fill them jars. Let's watch her again. Fill those jars up. Now, all that big pot of stuff is going to make around three pints. Four pints. Four exactly. pints, it said. It's recent canning. It's a lot of work. Sometimes the yield ain't as much as the work, but it sure is good. It, one woman said the other day, and I'd heard my granny say the same thing, that'll eat better than a snowball this winter. Yeah, we was always told that. Let's get that garden stuff done. You want it better than a snowball. So. It'll eat better than a snowball. One of the followers that put that on the other night, and I thought, oh, I've heard my granny say that all kinds of times. Whistle while you work. <laughs> if I could, I would. I don't know why I'm having so hard of work. Now you just want to do these what they call finger tight. Not hand tight, not just your fingers. Well, now Mama does hand tight, but they call it finger tight. So there it is, folks. There's the jars. Ain't they pretty? And this is what we're going to do. We're going to do it about four more times. And folks, Mama, let's say good night to the folks. Good night, everybody, and God bless you all. Good night, Mama. <laughs> Y'all making some memories and making some good chow chow or some kind of pickling, some kind of goodness. And uh, we'll see y'all next time. We're going to finish this batch and 
three more, and we'll be done for the day. So y'all have a good evening. Talk good to you time. later. Bye. -bye. Bye.